Hey guys, it's Jake. In the last video, we ended with creating Nico and Pablo. And in this video, we're going to adjust some weight paints and even create some more characters. So let's get into it. So if you take a look at uh, the footage from previous videos, you can see that the weight paint was pulling on Tommy's collar. So I went back in and selected some faces and just adjusted how much um, importance they have on certain different things. And I also adjusted the animation for Tommy because his popping shoulder, I didn't like that. So his shoulders don't pop anymore. And his, uh, I adjusted it so his collar doesn't do that anymore as well. From here, I wanted to make a new character to put in the game. And I didn't want to do a male, I wanted to start on my females. So the first female that I wanted to create was Penelope. So I just had to take the base mesh for the male character and adjust it to be a female base mesh character that I could use to make all the other females in the game. And from there, all I had to do was model her dress and then her hair. All the, all the characters are taken from Crosswalk the Game. And I tried to model them in a low poly form that would match their pixelated form as best as I could without getting too intense with it. So Penelope, her dress is supposed to have like this uh, pattern halfway through, but I, I didn't model it. I'm trying to get this game launched in the fall and if I spend too much time on little details like that, I'm not gonna make it. And I gotta, I gotta keep pushing forward. But Penelope looks really nice. I had to adjust the texture of it and all the girls are gonna have lips and uh, eyelashes, so that'll help distinguish them from the boys. So after making Penelope, I wanted to create uh, another character, a girl, um, just because it would be easy with the model that I had. So I wanted to make Tasha. Now Tasha is similar to Penelope, um, except for she's not wearing a dress, she's wearing pants and shoes and same color scheme and it's, that's how she is in the actual Crosswalk the Game as well. The only difference on her hair is I kind of brought it up to her shoulder length and I gave her like this little bang piece that extends. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that in the game. Um, also I believe I pulled it from the middle part to the side. Other than that it's pretty much the same model. Moving on after Tasha, I had already made Kendra. So the clothes were already modeled, so the only thing that I had to do was change the hair. And with the hair, what I wanted, in Crosswalk the Game, she kind of has like this side ponytail, so I just had to bring the hair back, and put a ponytail on the side. And then from there, it was just a matter of texturing it, and then it was done. After making Kendra, though, I needed some other characters, and I was thinking, of putting in Morgan. Uh, I tried modeling it, but modeling the braids was taking too long. I didn't like how it was looking, so I just scrapped Morgan altogether and decided to make Sally instead. However, if you notice Sally's character, she doesn't really look like how she did in Crosswalk the Game. And this is because Sally is actually a character of mine that I created back in 2003, the first video game I ever made. And she looked well, she didn't have this outfit. She, this is, I remade, I had lost the files to that game, so I had to remake it. In 2009, I believe, I remade the game. I didn't finish the game, but I, I remade it, and this was the design outfit that I chose for her. It's supposed to be like a tennis outfit with her pony pulled back. The reason I changed it and crosswalk the game to be that two pony with like the flower shirt um, was because that game was supposed to be, originally it was gonna be all the characters were um, children walking across the street, but it ended up being like kind of darkish to have like children being run over by cars. So I just scrapped that idea, I started giving people beards and stuff, and the game just went into just chibi style for all ages. We're going back to the roots on this one, which meant that I had to make a new photo of her for the character selection screen, and this is what it looks like, which is pretty nice. It matches, the, I matched it to the style of Crosswalk the game and just made it her own. So I wanted to make another character and I decided that I wanted to make Maya from Crosswalk the game. I made a list of all the characters that I thought that I'd bring over to Crosswalk or from Crosswalk the game to Crosswalk Joyride. 
and I ended up cutting seven of them. I'll let you guys figure out who got cut, but basically, so I needed to create Maya next. I just uh, changed the texture for it and added a design to the skirt, and it's like a floral. I just ripped it straight from Crosswalk the Game. It looks kind of cool in my opinion. I like it. <laughs> Which characters have been talked about? This video is taking too long. So from here, I only needed to create one more female character that I'm gonna put in the game. And this was Rosie, is I took Tasha's model, and where she had a side part, I put it back in the middle, and then just kind of mirrored both sides of the hair and deleted the right side so there's no bangs anymore and it just pulls it back nicely and from here I just ripped the color scheme from crosswalk and applied it to her texture added some freckles to give her a little bit of variation and that was it so moving back to uh, making some male characters I took Rosie's model and deleted it and took the hair from it and applied it to the base mesh model for my character uh, male, for my male characters and basically just converted the hair into what Nyx would be. So the next character that I made was Jesus and this one was probably the funnest one to make. I love his little fade um, in Crosswalk the game and I really wanted to make that apparent and yeah I know it's like that basically the Sokka hairstyle from Avatar, and but he has like a nice cut line into his hair. So what I did, um, if you watched the last episode, and when Pablo, I just did the exact same thing with the fade. Um, it took a little bit, you know, to get that perfect fade in there. You know, I, I went through, I think, I believe seven renditions of the texture to get it. But like his little bun popping up from behind, uh, and I adjusted his nose a little bit to give him some variation, and the, um, I took Nico's modeling for his long sleeve shirt and I just uh, changed it to how Jesus looked in Crosswalk the Game. And it looks splendid. I had a blast making Jesus. That left only one character to make. But my final character that I made was George. And George was a little hard for me to make, mainly because he has hair similar to mine right now where he has it flipping over, and I hadn't modeled anything like that. So I couldn't just take something that I'd already made and try and just like edit it a little bit. And basically what I did, I ended up taking Sally's hair, uh, which was a pulled back pony, deleted the pony, and then just extruded some faces along the side and brought it down into like a curvature, and then just extruded them back and called it good. <laughs> So his hair works and he does look like the character. I then gave him some freckles, just like I did with Rosie. Uh, his color scheme is taken straight from Crosswalk the Game. And yeah, George looks good. Whew. So now we're done with all the characters that I'm gonna put in this game for now, prior to launch. If the game does well and people want more characters or more like, I don't know, if they want me to make different kinds of characters. They don't all have to be from Crosswalk the Game. Um, I would love to make it, but uh, until the game's launched, this is how it's gonna be. Um, just a couple of things. I'm planning, due to like my time right now in the summer especially, uh, with my schedule, I'm having a hard time keeping up with all the social media things that I'm doing. So I'm planning on not, I, I, I wanna say deprecating, but that's not what it is. Facebook, I don't have a big following on it anyway, so I'm going to basically just link, use Facebook as a way to link my other social medias. I'm planning on staying on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna start posting more regularly um, updates and everything, and then I'll try and get some screenshots and some fun things to post on Instagram. I'm hoping to post on Instagram every Tuesday. And yeah, uh, other than that, if you wanna play my game, Crosswalk the Game, it's currently on the App Store right now, and I'll have a link to that in the description. Besides that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, that's, we'll take that. Oh. Oh yeah.